All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, just because I feel like making a quick, you could say, life update of life in the 662. Groom, Mississippi, across the way, repping, you know what's up, always and forever. So, um, here's a big thing, um, or a few things I really wanted to talk about, other than the fact that I'm sitting right here in this van, getting ready to go back to the house so I can drop off some things. Um, Shout out bless to once again all my little sisters out there, all my little brothers out there. I went in and bought some of y'all some stuff today, so I hope y'all definitely enjoy that. And um, mainly footwear, actually. Um, I, look forward, I look forward to the day where I actually have enough money to where I actually buy footwear to donate to you know Salvation Army and just other kids out there, honestly, who need them. I really, really, really do look forward to those days. Because those days are definitely going to come, hopefully, very, very soon. Because uh, I definitely didn't post it yet, but... um. I said that um, that uh, I definitely put it on my Snapchat. If you follow me on Snapchat at NJ Number to the City, I said that yo, I look forward to the day where, like, even though again we're still very much in summer vacation, we're still very much in June. I'm not trying to make any of y'all, you know, hurry on up to you know start school early when it comes to August and what that means. I'm not trying to you know rush your vacation any type of way i'm really not because i know if, uh, some of y'all po probably like nate we just you know some of y'all probably just started summer vacation probably a week ago and i'm probably like nate don't rush this for us man we just got you know we just got out don't start talking about this and now it comes to, to to school when it's you know two months away or whatever else like you know we want to enjoy talk about that you know late july or, or, or early august or, or something like that when it comes to certain things evolving back to school stuff i mean I just wanted to let um, a lot of y'all know, especially kids, know that um, um, your your big brother, NJ to the city here, um, I'm definitely going to end up donating some school supplies to a few schools, if not a lot of schools. Uh, I'm going to try to reach as many uh, St. John's uh, County schools as I can, and Duval County, especially Duval County as well. Uh, my home county, I can't lie about that. Would not want to lie about that anyway. I love Duval. I love St. John's. I love Nassau. I love any other county that I can possibly name. Um, and uh, I love all the kids again. They're all my little brothers and sisters, especially the uh, smaller ones And I um, you know, and even some of the um, you know taller ones I mean I wouldn't call them little brothers and sisters I call them just my brothers and sisters at that point especially if they're like just as tall as me or even taller But um, either way, it's all love and 100, you know, you're all my brothers and sisters And I wish you all the absolute best on enjoying the summer and enjoying uh, further on towards um, everything else that this summer has to offer and your next school year has to offer even though a lot of y'all probably like Nate get off of next school year we're focusing on right now this summer don't rush it for us I'm not trying to rush it for y'all but I'm trying to let y'all know that I do look forward to that day where I can definitely just show up to you know a school or show up to um um and after after school event or whatever and I could just pass out you know new shoes new, new shirts and everything else like that part of charity events and other stuff like that that I definitely can say that you know I highly condone them highly proud of and it's all part of my charity brotherhood nation foundation donating and giving back to, to the kids and their families and whatever god first one wants to understand the way i possibly can so i mean definitely i love to let y'all know that's one of the top things that i'm planning on doing uh i just hatched that idea a day or two ago that's what i'm going to be doing to definitely um because again i just graduated from allen denise high school and, it, and like i say it's a blessing it's an honor it's a privilege it's a gift so many beautiful things to tout about when it comes to to it and so many beautiful things to talk about with the foregoing future of my life and careers and etc um yeah future college life as well a lot like i say you know a lot of people got me really really um <laughs> uh, mixed up um when it comes to college life a lot of people think that you know i you know they have it mixed up when it comes to i do want to go to college but there's so much work to be done in our school systems as i again you can go back in his youtube channel and i said that or i po posted a video about that last month and I said there's so much work to be done in our school systems it, towards, again, towards really almost everything, really. And I definitely want to be the most, you know, proud sponsor, volunteer, and et cetera towards that, you know, toward, towards that cultural change in as many schools as we can possibly reach, honestly. Towards real loyalty, towards real love, real sacrifice, real dignity, and et cetera. All those real character counts, 
you know, moralic things and et cetera. I really want to be that great, you know, that, that great sponsor, volunteer and et cetera for all those cultural changes that needs to happen in more schools than just one, honestly. And it doesn't just stop in school. It really goes to, again, all around communities and community support. It's a collective effort in many cases. And I just want to do my absolute individual best of an individual job to help help all those efforts and see where we get with them, et cetera. You know, cause I've, I've said it before, you know, and y'all probably haven't heard me say it on YouTube yet, but it's amazing to be in a city that has a church in almost every single corner of it. But yet, when you ask around, when it comes to how things are overall going in terms of, you know, community service and in terms of people's moral code and value systems and et cetera, work ethic and et cetera, it's amazing you have a church in almost every corner of the city, but yet it's like, that's the train that's passing by me right now very very close to me right now because again this van is right here next to the train track but as I was saying it's amazing to be in a city that has a church on every corner of your city but yet a lot of people still lack moral code they still lack spiritual discernment and they still lack just all those things that truly make up a true I would say Jesus Christ salvation successful living environment and culture and other stuff like that even though I may have botched a few of those words up and to where that halfway didn't make any sense, but I'm pretty sure you all understand what I corely mean about that. Um, you know, I love everybody. I really want to keep on trying to, you know, help and branch out and learn as much as I can from God first, everybody that I can learn it from. Like I said, I'm 20 years old now. All glory be to God. I just turned 20 years old this past June the 11th, born in 1998. So, shout God bless once again my dearly beloved sister, Miss Mallory Pugh. Not to say she knows me at all, but she doesn't. But I spotted her on television uh, two or three years ago playing for the U.S. women's soccer team. And I'm like, who is that? Uh, I looked her up, and surprisingly, she was, uh, I think, the same age as me, or she was one year off um, or one month off because she's born in, um, she born in um, May and I was born in June. But we're, but we're both 1998 uh, babies. And you can um, go back on um, my song titled So Much to Give where I shout her out of uh, me and her both being you know, 1998 babies. And I, again, I have such a, you know, I, I really look at her and I'm thinking to myself, there's so many youth soccer athletes, soccer stars that I know of that I really see that future being for them right there to be on the you know, national team. I really see so many of my, you know, fellow, um, you know, youth soccer stars, they're definitely going to be, you know, on on those teams. And I look forward to, again, being their biggest supporter and promoter. And you could even, you could even say cheerleader when it comes to um, those, um, those, stage, uh, those stages of their future life, honestly. But, um, again, just let everybody know how, again, things are going again here in the city. Things are going very swell. I've had a pretty decent, very fair, um, you know, um, summer vacation thus far. God bless Greenwood, Mississippi, and etc. Um, like I say, um, I don't see myself moving here anytime soon because, like I said, there's still a lot of work to be done back in the city of Jacksonville, um, Florida, and Ponte Vedra and San Juan. There's still a lot of work to be done back in my own home state, and I feel like, how can I go move to another another state, you know, and help out their people when I got so many people right here in my own, you know, hometown home state that definitely need me and other stuff like that so it really to a certain degree there it is almost like saying let's try to take care of as many people we can in the home state first and then travel down here and it's not to say i can't try to multitask because i mean like 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 i said if i can come down here and visit if you know and visit once or twice a month or once or twice two every three months and help out down here i would love to you know i really do want to multitask with doing that you know it, it's more than florida that needs the help it's a lot of other states that need it a lot of the cities and communities that that, that need it and i definitely want to be the, the utmost best pillar of that you know god's gift greatness that i absolutely can be towards spreading god's glory and grace in as many people's lives as possible no matter what state you're from no matter what city you're in no matter what country you're in i would definitely want to help be there for as many people god first one once is unashamed as i possibly can that's one of my biggest testimonies it's one of the top things that i'm dying for every day living for every day you get the point with that phrase which i'm trying to express there and we're definitely going to see but definitely uh, towards the school supply thing like i said i really do want to um, do that and if I have them if I have the uh, money to, to, to do it this upcoming um, 
uh, August, I would definitely travel around to St. John's County and, uh, schools and Duval County schools, and I would totally donate as much school supplies as I can on behalf of my foundation, Brotherhood Nation Foundation. You know, I've been touting that, that foundation up for quite a few years. I haven't said it in every song, you know, but I definitely, if you go back to a few old songs, you'll definitely hear me say Brotherhood Nation Foundation. I can't tell you which specific songs, but I definitely know I've been shouting my, out my foundation for quite some time. Um, and I definitely look forward to donating some school supplies, uh, uh, shoes, and etc. To you know, you know, again, as many people God first as I possibly can. So we're definitely gonna see where the future of that goes. Uh, and like I said, I love everybody out there. Take care, you know. And again, anybody can do what I what I'm talking about. Anybody, you, anybody, don't matter which age you are, you can all, you know, give back, donate. Again, it, you can all do it, ladies and gentlemen. Especially, I'm telling you, one of the top things you got to realize, when God blesses you with life every day, you got to try to figure out the best way to give, you know, the most efficient ways to give back and learn more, grow more, build more, you know, and a lot of other stuff like that. It's not really rocket science, not saying everything that's going to be, you know, it's, it's going to feel easy, but definitely at the end of the day, it's definitely worth it towards the, the, the lessons you learn from it and everything like that, you know. Life has immense lessons to, learn, to to teach us all, and 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 you're not, and you have to be willing to go out there and establish a new comfort zone, a new safe zone for yourself by going out there and adventuring and exploring into other people's livelihoods, into other people's you know um, lifestyles. You have to be willing to get you know get get out of your you know your I guess the comfort zone you might have already established for yourself slash you, you were born with and go out there and establish a new comfort zone and a new safe haven and help build safe havens for other people and other stuff like that, you know. Uh, I mean, a lot of what I'm, what I'm talking about is definitely you could say sainthood stuff, but if you were to ask me, we're all saints here. It just depends on, you know, who acts like it, you know, more than the other to a certain degree, to a certain degree, or um, it all depends on definitely, yeah, you know, or when you, or, or when you want to act like it and, and, and other stuff, but there's definitely multiple levels to it. But again, I love everybody, and, you know, like I said, I'm 20 years old. All glory be to God. I'm very blessed to be 20 years old, and I want to keep giving back to the kids as God first as I can. I want to keep giving... Um, not only keep giving back to them, I mean, I give back to them in, in terms of music as well already, honestly, but I want to give back to them in a more, you know, you, I mean, in, you know, in more ways than just music, honestly. I do want to give back to them in more ways than just music, you know. So, because like I said, I've made so many songs for the kids, I really can't even count. It's amazing how I go from making the song title I Love Kids to then fast forward a week or two later, I'm over here dropping kidderation and kids are my everything it's so amazing how i dropped the song i love kids on the valley bridge academy tribute album to then two weeks later or a week later i end up dropping kids are my everything and kidderation but again the way my wild imagination works is again made a song thought of wild imagination by the way uh, that's on the wildcat nation tribute album for Pacetti bay middle school so again shout out god bless all the Pacetti bay middle school wildcats uh, again, the way my wild imagination works, I get creativity from literally any and everywhere, ladies and gentlemen. I get creativity from literally any and everywhere. So what that definitely means is that, you know, I'm, I'm like I said, I tweeted out a while ago to one of my brothers named Preston, uh, I believe his last name is Staples, Preston Staples, um, quarterback for Allen Denise High School. He's in he's in his senior year, and he's going to definitely do some great things. I definitely look forward to how, how well the team does. And shout out God bless to my real, my real brother Grayson as well, um, ex-Valley Ridge Academy Hawk. Um, or actually, yeah, ex Valley Ridge Academy Hawk, um, um, alum for Valley Ridge Academy. Um, he also plays quarterback and um, cheering him on as well, so forth and so forth. Look forward to seeing him go out there, shine, and all the other quarterbacks and the entire team. Always supporting, always encouraging. Like I said, this ambassador stuff is not going to stop just because I graduated. This stuff is something that I'm doing every single day. You know, even after the day, I'm. You know, I'm gone. I'm still going to be doing it. You know, I'm going to be doing it then in free spirit, obviously. You know, and stuff like that. So again, I, um, 13 minutes into, the, into this, I again wish everybody the absolute God on his best. One of the top things I actually wanted to talk about in this video was actually genres of music that I've been listening to recently. Um, genres of music that I've been listening to recently consist of um, consist of uh, I've been listening to a lot of alternative pop, etc. Uh, go check out the singer named Banks. I've been definitely listening to a lot of her. Shout out God bless uh, NF as well. I've been listening to a lot of his music. And uh, shout out God bless to all NF fans because the way I discovered him is off of Madden. His song intro was on Madden. I don't know when, what day I was playing it, but I was playing Madden. I'm like, 
wow, this song go hard. Who's this by? And it's by NF, and then it just, you know, took its own toll on there through my life when it comes to listening to him. So I'm definitely, you know, listening to him almost every day. And if not every day, I'm listening to him like two or three times a week. I'm definitely listening to him often, honestly. Shout out Buzz, my boy Andy Menio as well. I'm listening to him. He's great. He's awesome. As well, shout out Buzz, his um, thing called The Arrow, um, his new EP he dropped. That's awesome. That's fantastic. And again, more new, more new music coming soon. More of this coming soon. Love y'all. Life in the 662, cross the way. Die first.